Hi, my name is Arika Lewinsky, and I'm the product manager for the Progressive Delivery Group under the release stage here at GitLab. Today, I want to walk through a few of the features that we're going to be working on in the next release, 13.0. So the first feature that I want to go through is apply feature flag lists as a strategy. So um, what this does is in the previous milestone, we worked on a uh, feature that allows you to create user lists. And the way that you create user lists is you um, add a new list and you add all the user IDs that you want to apply a feature flag for. This new feature coming in 13.0 in, um, will allow you to apply this as a strategy. So the list that you previously created can now be reused and applied for different feature flags and for different environments. So the way that it looks is like this. Um, you can uh, select the list, you can select the group name. Uh, you have a drop down for all the different lists that you created in order to apply them. Um, and, at, at, and at the bottom of the page, you can set the environments that this will be applied to. So really excited, fe exciting feature. Um, we know this is gonna be much more convenient than copying user IDs uh, one by one and copying them between different feature flags and for different environments. Uh, this way you can uh, maintain the user ID list in one place and later apply it as a strategy. So this is with a lot of flexibility in mind um, and uh, making working with feature flags just so much easier. The next feature that I want to talk about is auto deploy to ECS. Um, and this is a great effort that we're doing in order to make deployment to cloud and specifically to AWS much easier. So in 12.9, uh, we released a template, a uh, full GitLab CI YAML temp template that does deployment to ECS. And what we want to do now is connect it to the auto DevOps flow. So if you have um, the following CI CD variables uh, configured, so we have AWS access key ID, account ID, and AWS region, if you have those set up uh, and you have auto DevOps enabled, it will just automatically connect everything for you and deploy to ECS. So um, really, really excited about the fact that we're um, opening up Auto DevOps for additional use cases, not only Kubernetes, but also now deploying to, to ECS. Um, and we plan to build on top of that even more in the future. Um, so a uh, big push to the team and, uh, and something that we're really looking forward on working uh, on and getting your feedback. Uh, the final feature that I want to discuss is also feature flag related, and that this is the adding the ability to associate feature flags with contextual issues. So what this feature does is um, it kind of connects issues and feature flags together, which is really neat. Um, and the way that it works is uh, we're going to have this really cool UI, uh, new UI, where you have the regular feature flag that you um, configure and add a description to. And now we have this new uh, item, this new table called related issues. And underneath it, we'll have all the issues that are associated to this feature flag. So you will be able to see uh, from the feature flag level exactly which issues are connected behind the feature flag. And also the vice versa. So on the issue itself, so you can see we have here an example issue um, and Related issues is already uh, something that exists today and related MRs as well. And now there's an additional related feature flags uh, section that will be added to the issue itself. So even from the issue, you can see um, the feature flags that are associated to this specific issue. So, so it goes both ways. You can see the feature flags um, on the issue itself and the issues that are related to the feature flag. So any way you look, you can see um, the context. Um, that's all for, for this uh, upcoming release. Uh, very excited to be working on these features and uh, hearing more feedback from you. Um, and I will see you next time.